Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having an amazing day so far. So today I'm going to be filming a tour of my Yale College dorm as a sophomore student living in Bingham Hall on Old Campus, which isn't normally where sophomore students live. But I've explained in previous videos why I'm living here this year. So let's get into the dorm tour. So this is just to show you what the outside of my building looked like and this room that I'm zooming in on right now is my room um you can see kind of just above the turrets there that is my dorm room and let's go inside <laughs> my dorm room was on the fifth floor of this building this building has nine floors um and luckily it because it has nine floors it has an elevator so some of the other buildings only go up to five floors and they just have stairs but because we go up to nine floors we have an elevator so this is what the kind of foyer of the building looks like and there is obviously an option for stairs um, but I normally jump into the elevator, so let's go in there and go up to my room. While we're going up the elevator, if you've watched my other vlogs from sophomore year, you will know that this elevator breaks all the time, which is less than ideal because then I have to go up and down the stairs. But anyway, when the doors to the elevator open at the fifth floor, my room is the one directly facing the elevator. So I just walk right out of the elevator and right into my dorm room. So here is my room, suite C54, and this year I was actually living in a standalone single, which means my dorm room was the only dorm room in my suite. So I didn't really have a common room, I just had this rather large dorm room all to myself, which was absolutely perfect for me. Alrighty, so let's get into the tour. Here we just have a blue recycling bin that is provided by Yale to all suites. Then I just have my little shower caddy, shower shoes, and a little towel to dry my caddy and to dry my feet on as well when I get out of the shower. Um, and then we move over to my micro fridge. If you know the fridge microwave debacle, you know. But <laughs> anyway, we do have a fridge and a microwave here with lots of snacks stored on top. Sometimes snacks are hard to find at college because you just eat three meals a day in the dining halls. So I do have a selection of snacks on top of my fridge. Then next to the fridge and microwave, we just have a little fan, which is just there. Um, and then if we move on to the fireplace, we have this really cool looking at fireplace. Um, above the fireplace, I have just hung a Yale banner. And on the little mantelpiece, I have a couple of fake plants and some random like a walrus, a koala, a couple of koalas. Um, <laughs> just because the walrus is like the mascot of Morse College, which is my residential college at Yale. And koalas, obviously I'm Australian. So there we go. Um, and then we have the fireplace, which does not work, but it's kind of cool to have there. And then underneath the fireplace, I have a little fluffy rug, um, which just came with my bedding and everything that I got in first year. So I really like that area of the room just around the fireplace. And to be honest, I would normally just dump a whole heap of my clothes onto that rug and create a little bit of a floor drobe, but I tidied it up nice and neat for this video. Then moving on to the left of the fireplace, we have this nice storage area. As much storage as possible is always like ideal to get in a college dorm room. So I really appreciated having these shelves here. On the shelves, I basically just stored random things that didn't really have a place anywhere else in my room and that looked kind of nice because obviously these shelves are visible like it's not like you can just shove things into a drawer you can see all the stuff here so I wanted to make it look really nice so there's just like a little that was part of a birthday present that copper gold thingy um then we just have some papers and we have like my toiletry bag and like makeup and a bunch of hairband and stuff like that then we have the third fake plant then moving down what do we have oh yeah so we just have like a little bag another kind of pouch thing and then we have my jewelry holder which I got from Amazon and a little bit of jewelry on there and then moving down we have my little mini bookshelf these are the books that I have um, at college with me currently and then we just have a collection of random like water bottles and stuff <laughs> electrolytes and then below that I have my roller my little stretching band thing and my yoga mat and if we then continue to pivot around, we get to this first window. I loved how light this room was because of the three windows. So yeah, there is the first one. And the windows can just open like this. So it's really easy to open and close them. And they've also got the kind of fly screen there to make sure no little bugs get into the room when you have your window open. And then as we continue to move around the room, the next thing we have, now we're kind of moving into like the bed area. So I just have my little photo wall up there, which I had in my freshman dorm room as well. I've actually got the photos in the exact same order. 
Um, and this year we also have the addition of some of my numbers um, from the races I've been in at college, which is kind of cool. I just stuck them up there because why not? Um, but I really like this little wall because you see it as soon as you walk in it's kind of opposite the door so it's nice and colorful and fun and definitely gives the room a little bit more personality makes it more my own and then if we continue into that little corner of the room we kind of come to this place where I've just shoved a bunch of boxes that I wanted to keep for move out because I needed them um, and I didn't really have anywhere else to put them so I just put them there and to be honest I didn't really go into this corner of the room too much this is a really nice little window seat that they have there um, that I never sat on once <laughs> it would have been it would have been a nice place to sit but I wasn't doing too much sitting and relaxing in this room let me tell you um but yeah that was another nice big window there and then also in this kind of corner of the room we have the dresser so this was just a dresser which was normally covered with various things um just like books and clothes and things and then there's three drawers here as well to store a bunch of my clothes so I had basically underwear and my pajamas in the first drawer then running clothes in the second drawer and then a bunch of random stuff in the last drawer like beanies and kind of seasonal items I guess then we move on to the star of the room the bed area so of course I have my classic fairy lights with my photos pinned onto them with pegs and the fairy lights I put them all the way at the wall and then they still had so much there were still so many more lights to go. So I just continued kind of putting them onto the roof. And this created a really nice kind of space for me to sit and relax in bed at night because I kind of felt enveloped by the light of the fairy lights. Um, so this ended up being really, really just a really nice space for me to sleep in I guess read in bed I don't know and then the actual bed we just have the same bedding that I had from freshman year with a couple of Yale pillows my nice little feather pillows some cushions some blankets um pretty self-explanatory I really did love my bed setup it worked perfectly for me um and then if we move under the bed we have some more storage under here because as most college dorm beds are the bed is quite high so there was room to store a bunch of miscellaneous items underneath the bed including my two very large suitcases towels spare linen just a bunch of random stuff got shoved there and then we also have three drawers here under the bed so the first one had all of my denim in there so just jeans and denim shorts then the second drawer we kind of had this is a very it's like this is organized mess okay we have like sanitary items masks and medicines like Pan panadol and neurofen and just Oh, some electronic kind of items like external hard drives and stuff like that. It was very organized in my mind. It does not look organized here and the drawer was so full that it almost couldn't be shut. But I promise it was organized in my mind. And then this last drawer was just kind of random miscellaneous like jackets and things like that. Clothing items. And now we continue panning across to the left and we reach my desk. This is the place where I spent, oh, I guess I spent the most time in my bed technically, but this is the place where I spent most of my waking hours in this room was doing all my work at this desk. Next to the desk, I would normally just keep my backpack. It normally didn't look that neat, but of course I made it very nice for the video. So on my chair, I just had a cushion because the chair is hard and otherwise my butt would hurt when I was sitting on it. And I always had a blanket because I would always get really cold when I was studying because it was winter and it was freezing. In this first drawer, kind of directly under the main part of the desk, I just kept kind of electronic stuff, my passports, <laughs> um, and then some camera gear, not gear, just like SD cards and stuff. Then on the in the drawer to the right of that, I kept all of my like toiletries and makeup and stuff just because I would always do my makeup at that desk and I would put on moisturizer and have like my nightly magnesium tablets at that desk and it was just an easy that was like a very easy central place for me to grab those things that I used every single day. Then the drawer below that was broken, um, but I kept my kind of camera gear and stuff in there. And then the big drawer underneath that had kind of like my more of my moisturizers and hairsprays, which I never use. Um, makeup remover, sunscreen, perfume, hairdryer, which I never use because it's a, it's got an Australian plug and I'm really scared that it's going to explode. Um, <laughs> and then I also have pencil cases, folders, and like my Spanish textbook and just various stationary items in there as well. So that is my desk and whenever I'm working there I get to look out this lovely big window at a beautiful view of the rest of the building. Um, but if you do kind of like 
actually look properly out. You can just see Harkness Tower out there and you can kind of see below on old campus. So I really loved having this setup of my desk not kind of staring at a blank wall but staring out the window. Then as you can see below the desk we just have a little bin which I never really used um, and then also just all of my device chargers which are there very messily and very tangled. Next to my desk we have this little mini kind of coffee table and it's not a coffee table I don't know this random table um that never looked that neat it always just had random stuff on it um and then also another second chair there just because I needed a chair to dry my towel apparently um because where where else are you supposed to dry towels in college dorm rooms I really don't know so I would just hang that on the back of that chair and then we have my wardrobe here so in my wardrobe we have these two kind of hanging storage things the first one has shoes and some other like miscellaneous items like belts and then I don't even know like some little drawstring bags um, and then the bigger of those storage thingies has kind of just items of clothing rolled up most of them are like kind of long sleeve tops and t-shirts and some jumpers as well and then we have jackets and kind of nicer shirts and dresses hanging out on hangers there as you can see and then above that on that little shelf we just have some shoe boxes um, a picnic blanket and my laundry detergent and a toilet roll apparently <laughs> don't know why that's there but apparently where did I where did I even get that from I don't know and then below my clothes we of course had all of my shoes and some empty shoe boxes I don't know why I kept them there but apparently I did so that is my wardrobe and it does have a door there but I always just left it open because behind the door there as you can see are my two laundry baskets light and dark which is kind of unnecessary because I just wash all of my clothes together. But <laughs> um, yes, I didn't realize I was going to do that when I first bought these before my freshman year. So I just keep them behind the door there. And then we're kind of back to the start. So I'll do a final overview of my room in a second. But before we do that, I thought I would go and show you our bathroom just because I don't know, I would have been interested to see what this kind of looked like. So as you go out of my room, we have this hallway and we have this stairwell here, which was really annoying because it was right next to my room. So it'd be really loud with people like coming up the stairs at all hours of the night and early morning and banging that door, but that is okay. Uh, we continue along the little corridor and here is the bathroom that everyone on my floor or I don't know, there was like about 10 to 12 of us who shared this bathroom. So yes, it is just a very standard college bathroom. We have two toilets, two showers, a nice little window there, two basins, and a lot of signs telling people to make sure they flush the toilet and clean up after themselves because we definitely, I'm not going to go into the graphic details of some things that occurred in this bathroom, but some people definitely did not think about um, cleaning up after themselves, shall we say. Here is a final overview of my dorm room. I absolutely loved living in this dorm room this year. I've lived in, I've been in four different dorm rooms or five different dorm rooms now, including this one so far at Yale, because I experienced living in four different dorms throughout my freshman year, because that was the weird COVID year. Um, and I can definitely say this one is my absolute favorite so far. I loved it. It was perfect. And I am very sad to have now left it, but I'm looking forward to actually moving off campus next year. So when I return in the fall, you will not be getting a dorm tour. You'll be getting an apartment tour because I'm going to be living in an off-campus apartment. So I'm excited to film that video when the time comes. But for now, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you've enjoyed it. I appreciate each and every one of you, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye!